Hello, my name is Matthew Nutt and welcome to my Maker Portfolio. The subject of this video is a project of mine I've been working on for about a year now, a coil gun. Coil guns work by discharging high current through one or more coils, also known as solenoids. With the current, the coil generates a magnetic field that attracts an iron projectile towards its center. By charging the solenoid with the right timing, velocity can be retained. The inspiration for this project came from videos of small coil guns from my favorite engineering channels. They provided information on the working principles, and the concept seemed interesting, so I began researching to build one of my own. In order to design a coil gun, I would need more specific information and guidelines. Once I had a solid grasp on the subject, I began designing my project. In order to build a coil gun, I had to start with some set limits. I focused on a 400 volt system since higher voltage could drive greater current at a given inductance. I looked for capacitors, solid state switches, and other components rated for the high voltage and current required. Once my control board schematic was complete and my parts delivered, I could start creating the form of the device. I designed the coil gun out of simple parts held together by screws, so that I can use my 3D printer and separate hardware to assemble the model. Out of this came the first iteration of my design. However, even though it worked at half the rated voltage, once I tried a 300 volt discharge, a trace from the custom board exploded and I had to go back to the drawing board. I ran into issues like this throughout the project and had to solve each of them with an improved design. A frustratingly and possibly dangerously cramped circuit box gave me the idea to use my school's shop to build a new box out of metal that was both larger and stronger than its plastic predecessor. So a few days ago, I completed the second iteration of my design, and a new round of testing could begin. Starting with lower charges, it worked better than before, managing to complete a 300 volt discharge. However, another problem arose. While I don't know for sure exactly what happened, the device stopped charging entirely. My current theory is that I was charging too often, mel melting the thin wires of the voltage booster's transformer. Currently, I plan to either replace the board and treat it more carefully, or to design a booster to my own specifications so that I might see my coil gun work as planned. Until then, thank you for watching and have a great day.